Hello everyone, welcome to monamtech.com. In this video, we will talk about why DSS or what is important of DSS for mobile network operators. This is the second video in dynamic spectrum sharing series. The first reason of why DSS the industry expects that most of the traffic still upcoming in uh, years is still be carried by 4G network till 5G device penetration exceed that of LTE as bear Ericsson mobility report for 2020 still there is a gap between 4G traffic and 5G traffic so as expected by 2025 uh, 8.9 a billion uh, total traffic will be exceeded uh, most of them still will be from 4G and uh, the remaining is between 5G and the little 2G and 3G this is the first reason why we need a dynamic spectrum sharing the second reason is almost all accessible low, uh, low uh, bands are occupied by existing technologies such as LTE there are still few options on the table for example 700 megahertz across Europe or 600 megahertz in the US yet such options are limited both in bandwidth and availability this raises the uh, questions of refarming the spectrum from LTE to 5G. However, despite the successful uptake of 5G, the industry expects most of the traffic in the upcoming years will still be carried by 4G network till 5G device penetration exceeds that of uh, LTE. The third reason is refarming low band carriers from 4G without a corresponding increase in 5G device penetration might lead to congestion of the refarming LTE carriers. Degrading indoor coverage for LTE users who still represent the majority of the subscriber base. So in previous generations, it took years to start refarming from 2G to 3G and from 2G, 3G to 4G in case of 5G learning from this experience has led to coverage enhancement solutions that allows a soft and flexible reform. So the impact of achieving 5G uh, coverage are therefore significant. So due to challenge with small cell acquisition and the ability to load existing tower infrastructure with 5G equipment and the management of customer experience with spotty 5G coverage so to solve this problem, mobile network operator will look to refarm existing low band spectrum like 700, 900 and 1.8 gigahertz. However, the challenge here is that 3G and 4G services are currently deployed in this band. Thank you for watching uh, this video and see you in next video to discuss how dynamic spectrum sharing works. Thank you and you can follow me on the, my website and also if you have any questions you can send me on monam at monam-tech.com uh, uh, Don't miss to follow me on LinkedIn profile Muhammad Abdel Monam and my Facebook page monam.education and don't miss to subscribe to my YouTube channel to be updated with all videos. Thank you.